Hey guys, Josh here, CrossFit Rima, talking Monday's workout. And before I do, we're gonna talk about scaling. Since we're on our way to Merp, it seems like the appropriate time, and it's always a good time to review what made CrossFit so great. And it was that premise of scaling any and every workout. Regardless of the workout that I find on the board, it's meant to be prescribed at its, at its most challenging, and then it's meant to be able to be taken back down and scaled so that we can work our way back up to whatever may be on the whiteboard for whatever day. Uh, and there's a lot of different ways to do this. And I wrote down one for today's workout just so you can kind of get uh, a framework of how a workout might be scaled for you uh, to, to make it better for you specifically. Okay, so here's what we got. Today's workout, 800 meter run. Then I have four rounds. 10 bent over rows, 20 push-ups, 40 air squats, and then another 800 meter run. Okay, so maybe that's good to go. Maybe I can hit through all that without getting uh, hemmed up too much of anywhere, and we'll talk about some of the rep schemes here in a second. But let's say that I couldn't, so I switch it around. Here's one way to switch that around. I have a 600 meter run. So we've did, we're doing three runs instead of two. I have a 600 meter run, then I have 10 push-ups, so I'm breaking the push-ups up, 10 bent over rows, 10 push-ups, and then 40 squats. I do that for two rounds. I run another 600. I come back inside, I repeat that same two rounds, and then I finish with a 400, which gives me the same amount of work. Now again, that's just one way to be able to scale it, but if you look at some of these reps and you think about the reason for them, well, it could be purely conditioning. If I have the muscle stamina to do all of these reps, maybe as prescribed, cool. Now, what I just said about the muscle stamina, maybe my conditioning is great, but 20 push-ups every single time is way too many, then I don't have the muscle stamina for it, then this still gets me the workload to be able to build more muscle stamina while keeping up with the conditioning. So like I said, this is just one way. Maybe I knock out push-ups, but air squats, maybe I needed to change that. Maybe the running, maybe an 800 meter run, I would have to walk the last half of it, so that 600 meters good. Maybe 600 is still a little bit long. Maybe that's just too much pounding and I need to do 600 meter row, 600 meter row, and then follow that up with a 400 meter run because I can handle that. And that's another way to do it and it's dependent upon the day. Okay guys, so let's get into our, our warm up for Monday's workout and then, then we'll knock it out. Okay guys, so for my first piece for my warm up, I'm gonna do 20 glute bridges to start to warm up the hips for all of the squats and the running. So jump down on the ground and 20 glute bridge, raise your hips as high as you can, keep your whole foot glued to the floor. So again, 20, 20 glute bridges, Keep your whole foot glued to the floor. And then we're gonna go right into an inchworm three-way. So here's how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna inchworm normal to the middle. So I'm gonna come out. I can even go into that, that's fine. If I wanna go into a little bit of a cobra, then I come back. Then my next inchworm, I'm gonna to start to walk it around. Back to neutral. Then come back and then my next inchworm Come back and then walk it back up. I will do nine of those inchworm three ways. Okay guys, and then my last component, I'm gonna do an ankle grab with a reverse lunge. Super simple. Get here, ankle grab, reverse lunge, other side, ankle grab, reverse lunge, take a step. I'll do a total of 10 of those, and I'll work all the way through that for three rounds or four rounds if your coach feels like, whichever it may be. So for my workout, I start with my 800 meter run. I'm looking at roughly five minutes or less. I come back in, I get my 10 bent over rows. I'm gonna use my sandbag, okay? So bent over row. I'm gonna use both arms at one time. If I have to do single, that'll totally be fine. I would just do 10 on each side. One, two, so on and so forth. Then I'm keeping my back. I'm keeping my hips hinged and my back flat as opposed to that, so on and so forth, 10 of those. Now, my next component, 20 push-ups, and we're talking a lot about that, it would be better to maybe break the push-ups up if 20 is too many at one time, but if it's not, here's what my push-up's gonna look like. Hands are at the sides, down, and then when I'm down, my elbow should be over top of the wrist, not over top of nothing, then I press up. Everything touches at one time, as opposed to 
so on and so forth. And then I'll get into my last piece, my 40 air squats, okay? So I get my feet set just outside of shoulder width, glue my toes to the ground, squat all the way down, logo on my shirt still facing forward, then come all the way up. I make sure, and here's what really gets you, I make sure that I squat all the way down under control, but then that I stand all the way up, especially if I've been sitting more often. So if you can think about it, if you're sitting more often, obviously this is short, and you start doing a whole bunch of air squats where this is the end, then all you're doing is adding strength to dysfunction, okay? So it's stand all the way up, four, zero reps. After I do four rounds of that, running another 800, time. Okay guys, for my auxiliary, my recovery, a couple quick things that you can do pretty much any time. Glute bridge, which we started with, but now we're gonna end with it to sort of get that back better after all the air squats and being loaded that and not necessarily under load, but just active that entire time. I do 50 total and I do 50 T's. I'll show you, but you can go through them anyway. You can do 10 and 10 for five rounds, whatever it may be, just get through 50. Back to that glute bridge, again, Squeeze at the top, squeeze your glutes as hard as you can for 50, and then my T position, hands out to my sides, thumbs at the ceiling, up, hold for a second, up, hold for a second. I'll do 50 and 50, however I want to portion those out, and then I will call that my Monday's workout. <laughs>